Pete Moore Gunmark TV. Blazer's R8, this is my one, I love it to bits, is probably the best straight pull rifle made to date. It's been around a long time, based on the original R93. The R8 improved it with a, a better magazine system and a few other things, but it's a very popular rifle. Switch barrel guns, you may be where you may not, they offer you the facility to have one chassis, remove the barrel, complete with scope mount, which is one of the Blazer's strong points. Scope and barrel stay together, so there is no loss of zero. And then insert another caliber system barrel. Simple. You have a big hex key to wind it in. You have magazine inserts that fit inside the removable magazine, allowed you to put in different calibers. This is a 243, for example. So, nothing really new. Great, I've got three barrels of mine, a heavy calibre, a 243 and a 270, so I'm pretty well set up. One thing that Blas have been doing for some time that I've never managed to get my hands on is their rimfire conversion, which is a very clever system. I first saw one, though I never managed to shoot it, way back when the R93 was still around. And what it did, it, it had a replacement bolt, same as this, but the magazine stuck up at an angle from the the top of the, the chamber section, which looked very, very strange. Since the inception of the R8, then the rim fire has moved on. So we'll look a little bit closer, but say, that's 243. And this is the new rim fire conversion, which you simply buy as a barrel kit that includes the bolt head and the magazine insert. And that's you done. So what do we get in the package? Right, there's the, 20 inch barrel, standard profile blazer style with a 15 by one thread with a protector on it. Looking closer, here we see the two bolt systems. The lower one is the 2.2, I can tell by the twin external extractors. And that is the R814243. See the magazine there, it's just the, the semi-rotary magazine. And the same thing there, that whole block drops inside this R8 trigger unit, which you'll see in a minute, it just drops in there, clips in mid done, and the magazine loads from the top. That big long silver thing is an ejector, which the bolt rides over when it chambers. Quite unusual is the breech face. You have to see it to understand it. If you look here, it looks like a smiley face. Those two top silver things are like sprung plungers, and the bottom is like a sort of, like a feed ramp. So what happens is when the bolt goes forward, it pushes into those plungers, and it pushes the chambers around as well and goes all the way and locks. And it doesn't look like it until you get up close. But the good thing about this is that you can single load it because obviously being a blazer, there's no receiver, just the action. And there's plenty of access to drop another round in, which is something a lot of 2.2s or rim fires can do, but not quite as easily. Okay, bolt removal on the R8, I found can be a little bit fiddly. This catch here is what holds the bolt head in. You can use your thumbnail, or you can use the screwdriver, you push back on that catch and it lifts up. That frees the bolt, it's sprung the side. So then, if you see here, this, the, the actual bolt body engages with the, um, the copy handle, so you have to disengage that by rotating the bolt head, like so, and then drawing out the bolt and just slipping in the new one, like so. Be aware there's a spring inside here for the firing pin, so don't go around dropping it, losing it. And by the way, this is the same firing pin you use on a center fire gun, which is quite clever, so that means you don't have to change the firing pin. Insertion, again, is a little bit fiddly to get your head around it. Put it in, angle it that way so it goes over the firing pin, and the bolt body enters the carrier body. Push it back, you can see the hook there, so the bolt head needs to be tilted that way, so it goes down and you rotate it back so it engages with the actual cocking handle. So now you've got to do, this is a fiddly bit, you've got to watch, if you look, I'm pulling the bolt head forward ever so slightly and you can see like a little, a slot appears just here and then you push down the locking lever like so, you push it so it's, it can be a little bit fiddly here. I'm going to push it all the way in. 
like so. And now the bolt is locked and you can check that this plunger is no longer in. I made it look a little bit awkward, but it can be a bit, I've always found it to be a little bit on the fiddly side, so you need to practice. But that is now the bolt converted to 2-2 rimfire. The magazine uses the same system as the centerfire gun. It's a, it's a semi-rotary type. This is five shot, that's four in the R8. And this whole block fits into the trigger guard assembly, which was all part of the trigger. You can see here, if you just flex this, this whole thing hinges in and those two lugs come in and that's where they engage with the slots here. So what you do, you offer it up, press that in and it drops in and it's locked in position. To remove it, pinch that in, pull it out. The loading is easy, just straighten it through the top. So, to assemble the rifle after the conversion is the same as the standard R8. The barrel is retained by two threaded studs. They drop in. Blaza supply a key tool. Just locate it. Take up the tension on both so it's evenly distributed. This is the trick. You don't need torque wrench and things with this. The plastic T hand lacks almost like a torque wrench, so we've both snug down. Just reinsert it, give it a tweak and you can feel the handle flex and that's about what you should be with it. It goes in and that's the barrel solid and secure. Bolt with the new rimfire head, it slides in, there's a little button there, that's locked and engaged. Magazine slides in as before, and what we have here is one of the new Blaza B2 scopes. It's a 2.5 to 15 by 56 IC. I'll do a video on it very soon. So it's got a six zoom bag range, but it's a, it may be a little bit OTT for, for a rimfire, but we've been pushing this to up to 100 yards. We can shoot no problem at all. So that will go on, engage the lugs, hear it clunk in. Pull down your two locking catches. And the final thing is a moderator. I'm assuming that Blaza will uh, source something, but also I'm assuming that most of the manufacturers of moderators will start clunking out 15 by one rimfire units, which will be a lot shorter and smaller. It looks no different at all, apart from when you open the bolt, you've got a shorter stroke. And that's pretty much it. So what we'll do, we'll bomb this mag up and we'll shoot it. Okay, the single load, all you do is off for the round up because that, that, that's not the chamber face. The chamber face is about there. So there's those plungers I discussed. So you literally put the round in so it sits on the feed ramp. Just push it forward and you're done. The mag goes in, normal way, push up, it locks. Cycle the action. Be aware, because it's in the rimfire mode, it's shorter so you don't have to be so aggressive but you do going forward as always make sure the lever goes fully down and being a blaser you may or may not be aware if you don't use one it doesn't have a safety it has a decocker so the gun will not fire nothing will happen until you push the decocker up then it's in shoot mode so just just watch this little baby fire because it's very sweet so you're nice firm but not too aggressive pull it's not all meat open it up we're empty so it's a rim fire we don't expect any boot bang or whatever but um, I've been shooting zero in this at 50 yards had some quite interesting results with various ammo I've been out tumbling rabbits with it from 50 to 100 yards you get about six inches drop at 100, but with this scope, the quick distance control turret, you can wind in the exact correction and aim cock on, which is quite nice. And you can head shoot with care, but definitely body shoot at 100. Overall, it's nice. It's sort of, it's a tiny bit lighter than the standard R8, not much. Looks the same, feels the same. That's the beauty of any switch barrel system. You're using one rifle you're happy with, you know the butt length, you know everything about it. So, and all you do is swap barrels. The beauty of the R8 system is 
the scope clamps on and if you had say a center fire on one of these I'd advise to buy two scopes okay people say you don't need two scopes you can swap them but when you swap a scope you have to think about re-zeroing so I would sooner have this ready to rock and roll with a rimfire style scope on and my 270 for instance with something else and so all I do is take it out of the box drop it on with no loss of zero okay so that is Blazer's rimfire conversion unit really nice piece of kit and the B2 scopes, which say there'll be a video on, um, is also, they are also quite nice. I really quite like them. So that's it. If you like what you saw, comment, tell your mates, support the website. If you need to speak to me about anything, it's pmore.shootingsports at gmail.com. Oh, sorry, yes, one more thing. Blas have announced they're going to do a small caliber push for the R8. So basically, this is the 2 2 rim fiber. You're going to have 17 HMR, 17 Hornet, 2 2 Hornet, 2 2 WMR. Okay, Pete Moore saying bye bye. Good hunting. Yeah.